Item number one, Comcast renewal. The renewal is up in 2021. Okay. <coughs> but the Cohen group had done it the last time mm -hmm. as part of a consortium, which includes uh, Ross Draver, Charles Lurie, Molly Allen, Carol Township, and Vanessa. As well as the okay. Uh, I spoke with Dan Cohen <coughs> this week. Uh, he will prepare a, a, not a presentation, but a, a quote for us. It's a fixed fee. Okay. He only operates on a fixed fee. Ten years ago, he charged us, uh, I think it was $4,300. Okay. There's a lot to be considered here because the revenue streams have changed. Okay. Comcast offers different. They've got like a, a sports revenue stream, and there's one that broke it all up. And we got to make sure that our revenues are covered. Okay. It's the same outfit that Debbie Grass recommended we use. And also, that's all they do, the schedule negotiations. He's going to contact the others in the group and make sure the consortium is intact. And then he'll bring a quote to us. All right? Okay. okay, just a question. Will we negotiate, will he negotiate just with the <coughs> or will he negotiate for the consortium? He negotiates for the consortium. Okay. Now, so this will, this fee that we're paying, is all the other members of the consortium paying a fee also yes. to the Cohen group? Yes, sir. Okay. Did he give you an estimate on what he thinks it might cost to do Yeah, Janie, he was thinking about 7500 But that's an estimate. Okay, a note. The ethics forms have been distributed. We've got a lot of them back already. Next on the uh, plate, Mayor Dussel, our auditors. Here's the engagement letter. It's attached here. Uh, the rate is very similar to last year. Ninety-four hundred, ninety-five hundred, ninety-five seventy-five, and ninety-seven fifty for the next two years. Okay. So I'll put that in the, as a motion. Get this one. I've already started with Mayor Dussel for 2018 audit. I've been working with him on the last couple of weeks. Upgrade computers and construction of a web page. Talk to Sanders. Okay. Uh, the web page has a welcome page, then has sub pages. The web page, the welcome page will have the hours of the borough and so forth, okay? But what degree do you want to put that? Do you want to have a separate sub-page for the police department? Or should we just have it on the front page and say, you know, if you've got an emergency, 911, <coughs> other calls, 9292, okay? Fire the same way. We could have a sub-page that says, fire department, you can list name, you know, names, phone numbers, and stuff like that with a picture. I think for what we do here, I just recommend we have a welcome page. Sub pages could be council minutes or council agenda, uh, events, one for codes, and if there's any other ideas, so maybe limit to like four sub pages. How much does each sub page cost? Two hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. So, what he'd like to do is mock up a demo first so we can look at it. All right. So you're looking at. 250 for the web page, or for the welcome page, and then 200 subsequent after that. Okay. Okay. But he's going to mock something up so we can look at it. All right. Move forward with that. As far as new computers, I've got a quote coming from Freedom, as well as John Sanders. Okay. You have John's for a, a new bill. I think it was $9,970 or something like that in that neighborhood. Okay. I've got Freedom, who actually has the software up here, going to provide me the quote. Let's see where they come in. Computers, normally three to four years before they're replaced. Ours are four to five right now. I thought we just got those about no, two and a half years ago. Right. That was the phone system, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the phone system. Yeah. Yeah. And we're starting to have some of the problems with the... With the no, with the computers now. Okay. okay. How well, much have we spent so far on the computer repair this year? Janie, it hasn't been very much. John doesn't... A lot of stuff he's doing just... Because he's here. 
Even the, even what uh, when your computer went down the other day, it's not charging us. No, he was here. I don't believe he's charging us for that. He came out and, and worked on the uh, the backup system. And if he does, it's minimal. Um, the other computers, like uh, for the police department, when were they last upgraded? In the same batch. Same batch. So what, what I'm looking at is a new computer over here, one down for Mike, and four up here, and possibly a server. So that's pretty much covering all of our departments also with the office? Yes. Okay. I don't think we need monitors at this time. Looking just at the computer. Monitors, you could go buy one and replace if you need be. Okay. Is there any difference between getting Freedom Computer? Do they have anything built in that works with their software that would be different it's, than from it, what it's just another? It's just a matter of they're going to load it on. They're still going to give us price to come out here and load what's on the current machine onto the new machine. Okay. And, and John will have to do the same thing. Parks and Recreation. We have this account. It's two hundred dollars. Been two hundred dollars for the last how many years? Okay. PNC now is going to start charging us to maintain this account. Okay. I recommend we close it. Just move the money into the general fund. It's two hundred dollars. We're not using it. The auditors have told us in the past to close it. Let's just close it. Agree? All right. Yes. Where did it come from anyway? It's been out there. I, the last time they used it, I think, is when we had the veterans parade here, and they oh, took money yeah. out of it for the flowers. I mean, where did the money originally come from? Yeah, I can't answer that. Yeah, it's a sign or sonnet. Uh, myself, and I thank you, Janie. So I could go down to PNC and close it. Just move the journal. Absolutely. 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 Well, no. my next question, you know I thought in your notes or you went to me, me there was three or four other oh, accounts yes. that they were talking about that was I'm in contact with PNC now. There's, There's other accounts like the fire loss. The There's no balance in there, but we have mm -hmm. to keep it because <coughs> when we do have a fire loss and it comes out of the escrow, we need to Constable move it into the account. You have account. to have a place to put it. Yes. And I'm in conversations well, they, with them. You that. think they'll charge for the for no, us I think to maintain it? I think they're going to leave it for us. They're going to leave it for us. Uh, the next one, Steve, you said we don't have to go into executive session to talk about no. procedures? Not the procedures, no. Okay, and to allow me to advertise. So we need to talk yeah. about procedures for code enforcement and we need to agree on whether we're going to advertise to somebody or we're just going to sit here and not worry about code enforcement. I don't think we're going to do that. <laughs> uh, we, do have, we have procedures. We, 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 we're losing money every day. Well, we, we have a procedure already written. Okay, you have one? Yeah. Okay. You have that? Is that yes. procedure yes. given to all the council to, to go over it, review it? Which one? What I have, I put in the packets what we had received from the other Grassroots, Jason Daly. Okay. I did put that in a packet. Okay. Has everybody had a chance to read it? Have, they, have everybody had a chance to go over it and read no, it? Has no. it free about it? No, Wait a minute, Janie. It's right here. We've got something else coming up. Just go. Uh, Steve. Okay. Uh, one page. No, it's two pages. Two pages. pages. You got one more? Where yeah. Where did it come from? I have two of them. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so we just copied the city of Johnstown almost. Is what we did. Pretty much. It's very close. Yeah, so it's the city of Johnstown that he we received is pretty much the same thing that we're adopting now. Okay? We're about to. We're going to review. Well, we, I'm, I'm just saying I read the city of Johnstown and I read the, the Newcastle one and it pretty much says. It's the same required knowledge, skills, working knowledge, ability to deal amply. Yeah, pretty much that's what it says, this one right here. But what I have a question is this. 
we have ordinances already on the books that explain the duties of the code enforcement officer. Okay? It, it deals with property. Okay, 1391, 1331. Um, and there's one more in here where they adopted back in 2004. These are pretty much the ordinances that cover rental, property, and our fees for zoning permit fees. So now, does this policy and procedure booklet that we came up with now interfere with any of these ordinances? It's not a policy or prescription that we come up with. It's a job description. It has nothing to do with ordinances. <clears throat> well, what are you doing then? Making job descriptions that we talked about for a year and a half now. Yeah, yeah like it says here. Job description. Like for what you said, Cindy, I'm just pulling pulling one bullet point out here. The ability to follow established procedures, maintain informational databases and files, and basically it says that they will follow our codes. Basic job description. That's what you said, established procedures. Right. We're just talking about procedures and policies, and I'm asking you to interfere. It's not like it's easy, like a two-page, I guess it. Yeah, this is just the basic, yes. what they need just to. basic job description. Okay. And that oh, right there. Months. Availability to interpret and explain borough ordinances, codes, and regulations. Yeah, I got you. Some experience. You know, the basics. Yeah, the basics. You have to have a drug test design in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Physical exam, investigation report, personal conduct. It's in the second one. It is. It's in any other department. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any requisite certifications or anything? I only in training and experience I just see that at least three years of experience in code enforcement. That's the only one I really see. Do you agree, Councilman Zach? Mm -hmm. I think this is this is a fine for a baseline. You could always yes. add to it if you want to require certain. Yeah, you want to keep it general. Yeah, it's very general, but like you said, as we go, we can add on to anything we want. It's a good building block. Okay, so we're going to move forward with this. Yes. Allow me to advertise. Yes. For full time. Well, you guys got them. You may advertise as part time or full time and see what we get. Why not? Like we did the last okay. time. Mm -hmm. That's what Debbie Grass's recommendation is. Yes. Full time. Well, that's advertising. Like you said part time, full time. Part time, see what full you time get. and see what kind of interest we get. Okay. Get right. them in there, see what you get. Let's do it. Yes. yes. Okay. I see names on these committees. What's the name of the committees for now? That's You're the, the chair. The That's chair. the chair. There's a chair. There was no chair. There's a chair and there's no committee. Well, then you can't have either or. You either have committees or you don't have committees. There's no point. We just left everyone who was ahead of the, of the committee in, in their department so they could oversee. You can't rewrite the book. You either have committees well, or you don't have committees. Well, get rid of them and then drop them off. That's how you have to do it. There's no committee. Well, there's fine. either no committees that's fine. or there's committees. Well, you can't rewrite borough code. I, I agree. You either have committees or you don't have well, committees. Well, I think we don't. Janie said we don't have any more. Nothing we have done. That's what I'm saying. There's no committees. Then. then that means everybody needs to be informed of everything that's going on in each committee. The committee has not there's no committee. There's no committees. Nobody make a decision. There is no committee. A council there makes a decision. There is just a person that is in charge of that particular Well, you can't do that. You can't do that. Because you have to go by the borough code. You either have committees or you don't have committees. There's no in between. It's borough you code. You can't have a department head. You can't have, you can't have you a can't department have. head. No, you either have committees have or no head. committees. My understanding was they were simply eliminating all committees, all heads. Well, like, we're, like too, actually, like. well, so, I mean, so we're saying one thing and we're doing another. No, absolutely. We just left everybody that's the case there was a problem. First that's off, a problem, it be then we, eliminate it. It has to be Janie Ackerman because she's the acting president. She's the only one has the power to do anything with the meetings. Well, she did. I mean, if you're saying, wait, who made this? Is, is that the other made the decision? Because yeah. we didn't Janie. discuss it here. Listen, I made the decision she to the decision. abolish the department in committees because mm. nothing was being done. I don't we're agree with you, Jane, but that's okay. Committee holds so up who's getting called on these things then, John? The committee, no, the council. The committee was going to make the decision. The committee was going to do this. The committee who was going to do calling, that. Who are you calling, John? The committee never did anything. Well, I'm going to tell you what so I disagree with you. Because now you're going to be in the middle. No, you're in the middle. You handle day-to-day. Who are you calling? 
I can call. I can basically call everybody. Yeah, but you have never called me, so who are you calling? I haven't called call anybody yet. Well, nothing to call so about. So something comes up, you don't call nobody. You just take care of it yourself. He just said. It depends on what it is, but I don't have. I haven't so had anything that was an emergency. Something yet. comes up. Who are you calling? I got to call everybody. But who have you called? Because you haven't called. I've, there have been no emergencies. Oh, so everything is fine. You haven't called no council people at all. No. Oh, okay. No. And then call me. Have a call. So who's handling It's a strange thing we're talking about. I'm going to handle it. How about okay. that? Well, okay. it's a strange thing we're talking about emergencies. See, I don't agree with this. I like the committees. The well, the committee. Be stop. quiet. Okay. Stop be quiet. Well, you don't need to be interrupting you me. You did not. When I'm the committee. When the you co listen. This town, this this committee have worked. There was a lot of work done this year and last year, and you guys don't seem to see it. But the work was done. The, the code enforcement officer, we're going to. Five months. Five months. I'll give you that. But, but, what does it have to do with anything? It's but, winter time. You don't need a code enforcement officer, anyways. That's just a political ploy. Okay, how, how many job yeah, descriptions do we have in the street department? None. How many job descriptions do we have in the police department? That we have a handle. So don't they say have a handle. No, 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 Three years. Where is his thing? You didn't do anything. Three years. Oh, nobody else knows this Three time. years you've been on council and you don't have a description. We have to sit here and listen to her nonstop. No, listen, nobody listen can to me. Oh, give. I'm making myself clear. He, you've had three years to give him a job description. Have you done it? No. You've had one year. Have you done it? I don't want to give him a job description. The, no, you can say, it. It's the committee. It's the committee. Yes. Can we, we move, can we move forward? Wait, wait, wait. How are you going to move forward? Where's the day-to-day operations? Who's making these decisions? He no, should be making them. I believe, no, he should. He should. He I believe it was presented no, right? before this council. There was three descriptions set forth for Mr. Bedner. Is that true, Janie? Yes, it is, and I gave one of them out. Yeah, they were up in our boxes, and she gave them out at a work session for you guys to review. Nobody wanted to do anything about it. They refused. Now wait, no, okay, okay, let's not make it argumentative. We, you brought things up before council to review, and it was not reviewed. Right. Let's bring it forth again so Mr. Bedner, now the code enforcement, and whatever else you want to do, do it now. We're going to do job descriptions for, Who's for every employee. Janie has already brought forth one for uh, an administrator. Mm -hmm. um, you just brought one for the code enforcement. No, she didn't brought one, she brought a she got a copy another one. That's she right. Didn't do it. it was, we did our own. Okay. Copy okay. It's she brought, she brought no, something. Oh, it's not worth work. Oh, it's this not worth work. No, it's she brought something to bring before but, council. But don't say certain people aren't doing anything when, when you haven't done nothing. So it's just the point of being. Because you wouldn't come to executive session. He's kept no 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 session. Can we back up for just one minute? No, we can't. On a day to day, who's going to handle stuff? There's no job description for, I mean, job descriptions don't get done in executive session. Mr. Bender, we just did one right now. Mr. Bender, why, 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 why? The only reason why, because it would affect potentially a contract. It also would affect potentially other contracts. Well, there's only one contract. You're the only one that made they made sign a contract. Nobody else has a contract. That is also part of the problem. But for complete and transparency, why are we doing everything behind closed doors? Do it when when this was brought forward, it was said. I remember vividly sitting at the work session. She brought forward a thing and said, "This is what other." Well, municipalities or something did for their administrator. And at that moment, it was said, we cannot discuss that here. It must go in executive session for the administrator. I remember that. Right. And I right. said, okay, and then we could it's not do an must. executive session. Because yeah. And it was just reiterated. That it's not a must. It's an opinion. There's a difference. Can I elaborate? Mm -hmm. The reason I also thought it was important at the time is because we were considering a contract. We were also considering, if you'll remember, updating the borough ordinances in coordinating with the job descriptions, and we made sure we conferred the right responsibilities on Mr. Bender. So it was really a threefold, but we got away from that. So if we only want to do a job description, that does not have to be done in executive session. But so we could do it like this. Right if, we were, if we were to draft, if we were to draft the agreements and change the ordinance to designate power to Mr. Bender, we should at least start that conversation. 
because it could impact contractual liabilities in executive session. So I agree with you, but it, it, it's, not a, it's not a must. But at the time, that's what was... That was a recommendation. Okay. So now that we're past that, we have now well, one before this council for code enforcement. You made a decision. Can we possibly have one for Mr. Bedner for the next work session? Who's going to do it? I just asked again. Well, I'm asking council. Well, you have to do it in public. You have to get a public meeting. I just said, council by work session, can council, council have a few things you. together so you can work one out? You have to work well, together. You see, this, is, this is my point. You, you, you have a work out. session you come to, like this one. Okay. You can all have ideas and work it out here. Am I correct? That's, right. That's what I said. By the next work session, can you guys have some ideas? Sit down openly in public and work one out. I can get some things together, yes. Mm -hmm. John's that would be the way to John's do it in the open public eye, right? right. Well, the next work session, we should have job descriptions for everyone. Every, every department should have them. Why are we singling people out? Every not, not singling out. Let's start with what just came up. You want to do more? Have an, well, okay, that's what you want. Well, we're telling you what we want now. Okay. Okay. So everybody should have one or nobody. That's it. It's that's that what simple. I said. Then bring it for everybody and have exactly. it at a work session. Right the next one, it's open to the public, just right like you want said. For everybody. That's exactly right. Have everybody's job description by next work session. Absolutely. Do it in wide open. At the next work session, plan on being here a while and work it out. There you go. What that, happens in the interim? Okay. What well, I means same thing has been happening. Maybe what, John? Yeah. If there's an emergency, I'm going to call everybody. You have to call everybody. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not taking a phone vote. What if there's money to be spent during the month? Who are you calling? He's not taking a phone vote. He's just informing you of an emergency. So who are you calling during the month? The money to be spent then? We, we are, you, are you deciding on your own to spend it? Give me an example. I, don't, I, I got one. I'm not here today. today. The, you don't uh, give me an example. The axle went on on the uh, uh, backhoe. Mm -hmm. We needed it to load salt that day. We borrowed one. Wally Ray was nice enough to let us use one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was $2,500 for the axle. Okay. We needed it. My order. So who made the decision? You did? Or you didn't call nobody? Or did you call Janie and not talk to her about it? No, I didn't call anybody. <clears throat> Mike ordered it. I talked to him. We need it. We can't do without it. We're borrowing one now, and it's snowing outside. And that's why we need a job description for him to give him the power to do that emergency right. decision. Yeah, because right. at the end of the day, he'd have done right now, and maybe he could get a hold of all of you. And that's why you have those in place. We should have had it already, but do it in the next work session. And if you have monies to be spent now, if you guys want to say it, have them call you for everything for a month, but get it done until then. Well, there's only one problem with that. If he has to call everybody, he's not getting a lot of work done. But it's going, in my, it's going in my nightly notes. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, he's still We're contacting and saying it. Yeah. It's all in my nightly notes. I just well, want to make sure a majority of council is voting on these at a okay. public meeting yeah. on the expenditure. Right. Okay. So let's make sure that we <coughs> do it's already, yeah, you already well, spent it. What's the point of voting? Even, even that we was the vote. money in the budget for it. <laughs> yes, go yeah. Well, then you don't, then There's that no budget's approved. You don't have to have that. Yeah, the money's there, well, there. You have the money's the money already there. gone. That's you don't right. have to vote. It's gone. So so that, already made that, that doesn't decision. need well, to be voted on. That doesn't need to be voted on if we have it in the budget. That's what it's for. It's earmarked for when we have a problem. Right? Yeah, spend whatever you want. We're not going to Thank um, you. <laughs> now, when it's not in there, then you need to come to us. Okay. Yeah, if it was in the job description, he spent it. Now we know one of the things we're going to put in the job description. <laughs> right. Right. We're going right down the right path. Right, can we move on? Yeah, yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got a letter of resignation from Bo Stoyle. He's resigning from both the Code Enforcement Board of Appeals and the Planning Commission. Did he give you a reason? No, it just says I'm writing this to inform you of my decision to resign my position. Period. Okay. So, on the other side of the <coughs> announcement, we've got two vacancies. One on the Code Enforcement Board of Appeals and one on the Planning Commission. Okay? Yeah, yeah. The next one we could probably just pass over. I had a discussion with Peter Grigg. He's been working with us. <coughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And he'll... Since now we're going to move and advertise for a code enforcement person, we could eliminate number four. Okay. Well, isn't okay. he going to raise his fee, though? Yeah, regardless, I guess. Well, he normally charges 75. He did that. But oh. it's, it's, it's moving on, and he said, look, I, it's I need to do what's best for you. Okay, yeah. I get it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm talking about that. Okay, uh, next one, update from McCain Avenue Park. Uh, 
I had a discussion in a meeting with uh, Nathan Boyten. Uh, Payshack Engineering was awarded the contract to develop the master plan. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, uh, Payshack will be here with Nathan to look at the, the park down there. Uh, come up with a, a master plan for you folks to approve. Once you approve that, <clears throat> it's going to go out for an RFP uh, for the engineering design for that pavilion. Okay. Uh, this is being we're, use, we're utilizing CDBG funds for this. We'd set aside. Okay, for this work, we have the LSA grant for actually the construction of the pavilion. Okay. And hopefully by July we'll be in a position where we can say, okay, this is what we want, and move forward with the, okay. with the project. Well, incidentally, the sign looks very nice. Yes. The new McGain Avenue Park sign. Thank you, Jerome. So that and that also was rectified with the the owner of the signs and all that? Yes, but he still owes us the money. We're still... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's still working. It was addressed. Was the money's coming, though? Yes, I sent him an email. Contract was found? <clears throat> I'm sorry? You filed the contract, then? Yes, and I also spoke with him uh, about... There was 17 and 18. He's going to pay it, but yes. he hasn't paid yet. Yeah, he told me he would pay it. How much money? Uh, 250, wasn't it? Well, one was 250, and I think one was 750, or 600. I think the total was 850 or something. Yeah, but I mean, and the it, sign was 250. The sign was 250. And he so did the sign, it was one of those. Yes. Who was on the contract? Who signed the contract? Ludy. Who from Ludy signed it? Janie. For Ludy. I can't hear you. I said you signed it for Ludy. Oh, the original. The original, the original contract for Ludy. Original. Yes. yes. And we were supposed to. We were supposed to pay the borough X amount of dollars. I think it was like thirty-seven dollars a month for the uh, rental of that property. And then uh, Ludi was the purchased by. One, the check got returned because Dennis Fisher said we don't need it. Get it. We're going to tear it, tear the buildings down anyway. The signs will come down. So, so he, he said, superseded the contract that was written. Then you're saying the so contract was just voided with no. <coughs> no <coughs> right, Jamie. <coughs> Uh, I, I, I disagree with you. That, that was not how that actually worked. We sent hey, the... John, I the contract. Wait a minute. Well, well, okay, well, I, I know you did. No contract, though. But the contract, the contract was sent back because right. they yeah. sent us the money it's for the whole time and ago. we didn't, we didn't want ago. it. This was years ago. No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we and Dennis Fisher. Dennis Fisher. He sent the check back. Yes. Yeah, because it wasn't a yearly rental. Cheney, when was Ludi purchased? Uh, two years ago. Seventeen. So 17. you rewrote the contract with the new, the new guy. With no, no, she's no, not. Contract the new guy. Get it's the a contract with Ludi. We bought Ludi. We honors all contract. She signed the contract that with Ludi last from year month. That. Last month there was no contract. We said there's no contract. Mike got sent back. We're out. Right. Now all of a sudden there's a contract which no, I didn't see. No Where's that? No, no, hold it. There's, there's, there's no contract, contract with Mark. No contract. No contract. But I was able to go back and I followed with Ludi. So when I contacted, contacted. Okay. So at the last session, that's what was said. Janie said, I signed one with Ludi. Did they ever get Janie a green number? Or whatever. Janie they said that, that Janie had the last one with Ludi. No, they said there was no contract. We sent the money back is what we said last yeah, week. Yeah, right. that's what was told so by the Dennis further Fisher. investigation, I found out that there was a contract with Ludi. Do we have a copy of it? Do we have a copy yes, of it? Yes, it's Why yes. Ludi signed? So let, 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 if years, I can clarify it, okay? The reason the check was sent back because they wanted a long term and we did not want to know how that McCain Avenue project was going to happen. So we went on a month to month with Ludi and then of course Zahan took Ludi's over and he honored the contract. That's what happened. We didn't send the contract back because we didn't want it or we didn't want the money for it. Is we didn't want a long term contract. And then it just got lost in the shuffle. It somehow got lost in the shuffle. <coughs> Well, nobody, work something out once they once no, the, nobody, the work is Nobody that told place. Dennis Fisher that because no. I was involved with it and I never told him that. None, none of the others. That was. I don't care what you told him. That's what he told me. Well, well that's you too bad for you. Right? That's, he didn't, he didn't follow his I'll dig my files up. Well, 
put out a basket. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Sign looks nice, like you said. Yeah. Let's get very thorough. Nice. Just give me a second. I'll put a basket. Okay. The next one, soliciting. Terms. Yeah. You. I put. I gave everybody a copy of our permit application. Okay. And you have it. Any recommendations where we might be able to change well, it? Or? I'd like some direction from council on what we want to try to achieve here. Uh, the solicitation ordinances were adopted late 70s, amended twice, I believe. Um, last year we amended right? They were amended last year. There's an inconsistency, I believe, with the form, with the hours uh, that you're able to solicit. Right now, you know, the form that we have is, is good. Uh, it's what most municipalities are using to gather information. Um, <clears throat> frankly, I think we're sufficiently regulating it at this point in time. Um, I think anything else that we would do would be viewed as curtailing solicitation in the borough. We could have First Amendment implications. So uh, one of the things that we can do is require people to register, disclose if they have an arrest issue, eviction history, provide the information to the police department, collect the fee, limit the amount of hours that they can be out in the street for purposes. In some extent, we can. Um, you know, I think we have fairly, fairly comprehensive solicitation at this point in time. I, I think the form works. I, I do think we have to adjust the time. I think the form is on says the six and the five. Today? No, it, it says, says nine to five. five. Nine to five. The form says okay. nine to five. I think the ordinance says then nine to six. There, there's an hour difference okay, okay. between the ordinance and the form. Okay. So we can verify that. Right. Is, All right. so what, let, me, let me explain what happened today. Okay. Somebody came and they pounded on my door. They didn't knock. They didn't ring the doorbell. They pounded on my door for a good five minutes. Naturally, I couldn't get up to answer the door. But he just kept pounding on the door. And by the time I did get to the door, he was flying down the steps running next door. I had no idea what was going on. One of the things I think we should do is, is Jay, this is Steve, we should inform the public that whenever there are instances right. of, of aggressive door-to-door uh, -door solicitors to call the police, call the borough, make right. a report. That way we can verify whether or not they came in, fill out the form. Did, 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 did they, they the fill the form? Yes. Four individuals. All right, let me ask you. When they filled out the form, when did they come? Today? Oh, yes. No, okay. they were here today. All right, see, I disagree with that. I, I'm going to tell you why. Hear me out. I have never been convicted of a felony or a misdemeanor. They should have to apply about three days in advance so we get time for our police department to check. Yeah. You can do that. You can, you can require early submission in, in the review. Because if we find out that one of these guys are convicted of something, so I, we certainly don't want that person going okay, into somebody's house. They don't even talk to you. They, they right and when you get one of these young people in on an elderly resident they have no chance thank you yes so we can make Is it against the law for us to stop them? You're, you're yeah. the dangerous First Amendment ground. Right. Right. We so make the hours maybe 10 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock. You can do that. We have a result that you regulate hours. How about 10 to 5? And see, he's looking at it. Okay. So you can make, the council can make a motion to amend the hours. You can't have unreasonable hours. You know. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on <laughs> Thursday only. Yeah. But, but yeah. you can, you can serve as your phone. Make a test. Okay, ten, people to wake up 10 to days. 5. Well, we're gonna, is that what we, we like? That? <laughs> no. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten, to, 10 to 10, 15. Yeah. How much money do we make? Okay, 10, 10, ten, to, ten to 5. People don't know what it's okay. like to be up here in the hill and have that pounding on your it actually starts your adrenaline like you can't imagine what's wrong. So if you, 
pounding on your door. So the make the amendment to 10 to 5. Does that sound right? Yeah, but they, the trouble is, how many times have we had to call the police because they've been there after 5 o'clock? Well, that's the only... They even went to one person's house at 10 o'clock that night. Yeah, that's, that's why we have the police department. If they break the, if they don't do it, they need to call the inform the people and just stick to it. Okay, and is there some way we can put a clause in here that they got to give us at least 48 or 72 hours before? Yeah. And then that way the police department can check them out. And if we find somebody that's got any kind of a rape conviction or a, a robbery conviction. Right. Yeah, we, we could. We, do, we don't want them they going. Can't search. Search. They can't search. They would have to consent to search yeah, a criminal yeah, issue. Yeah. But what they can do, if you have names, the police department have their own internal records, right? It's their reports. They know. They have knowledge. Mm -hmm. So if they see a name, it's problematic. They're not going to know this because the folks today, almost yeah. from New York. Yeah, they're yeah. all from. Well, all I think most of them are from New York today. They don't care. You can still run it through the NCIC. If they're wanted or if they got criminal activities in their past, the NCIC will give it to you in second. But do we need authorization to do that? You do? We just have someone here that's fine and agree to it. Well, UJS. Right, you can use portal. I've done that but the problem is a lot of these folks are. But if they're from Pennsylvania. Sure, you can run them through portal. Any other states have UJS too. Very few. Mr. Solicitor, could we make that where it says, I have never been convicted of a felony or a misdemeanor? Could we also add to that, uh, give us consent to check this record? Is that illegal? Yeah. And if they don't sign it, we can't stop right. them from soliciting. Yeah. That's yeah, the that's point. It's the First Amendment right. You, you could put you the time limit on it and use the porter or just with whatever's at your disposal. I mean, <clears throat> that's it, I would think. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it throws you now. So, I mean, you could make that where it's just you have to have 48 hours or whatever you guys say. It's still not going to stop. They have, they're going to be allowed to do it. Like right. You're it's just it's setting it's the rules behind how you do it. We did. Put the time limit on it. Not going to stop. The time limit's on you already. Make it 10 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. Let's make it 10.15. <laughs> I mean, really. Do we want to leave it just the way it is and move forward with this? Yeah, well, that's, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. We could talk right. about it for the next We'll week. leave it the way it is, Steve? We'll leave it that way. Okay. Uh, discussion. All class reunion. Saturday, July 13th. Vendor hours are from 12 to 6. Event hours are from 12 to question mark. And we need to know what that means. Right, Janie? Yes. Well, now... There's going to be something at 6 o'clock. They're going to come down here for the, to the social hall, right? Does that start okay. at 6 or 8? I'm not charge of it. Okay. I think it's 8. Okay. It starts at 8 down at the social hall. Okay, you have that. Mike told me this morning that they're going to have a, a DJ up here in the parking lot. Right. After yeah. 6 o'clock. Is there a Is that till 6 from 12 no. to 6? Well, no. Well, from 6 on, there's going to be a DJ. Up. There was an updated. There was an updated. Invitation, if you would, was on social media today. I just happened to see when John and I were talking about it. The all class reunion celebration has a block party slash car show from noon to 6 p.m. claiming in downtown Denora, and then a celebration dance at the borough building from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's according to today's. Posting. Okay. I, I think the okay, thing is, what is what, what time do we clear the streets? Is that what well, but, we're asking? Or? Right, but Mike told me this morning, Mike McDonald, they rent the hall? that yeah. yes, that there, there's going to be a DJ up here. All right. There okay. is. It's some news from, to me. From, what, from what do you mean up here? In the parking, in the street? <laughs> Only noon to six. Mike told me yes. it was going to. They were going to be there afterwards. Well, there's going to be somebody with music afterwards because they can't put everybody in the borough building. Who set all this up in? Who did it? Well, I can't believe they came. John, how many people? John, I, I just asked. Who set it up? Who, who set all this up? Larry Price wrote a letter Larry to council, Price? and you guys voted. Well, council said he could have the block from these two right. days. Because I, I was getting calls about an article in the paper about this big uh, thing that's going on, and there was a meeting, and I didn't hear of any meeting. Price I asked you today. You didn't hear of any meeting. And that, no one heard of this meeting, so I'd like to get enlightened on when, when exactly council that. said it was okay for Larry Price to set up his thing. I'm sure he, his people, had a meeting to set up his whatever he's doing right. during on the right. block. 
That's and what you I think the meeting. Know about I didn't have a meeting. I was never there. That's what I mean. I think the big I, question I just didn't here know is. What to tell the people. I think I think the big question in, here is is. Council said that he can have these blocks just like we do any other festival parade. What time do we have the streets cleared? Like, what time can he go till? And if he, Whenever if he, the ordinance says. yeah, like it's if it, if the streets must be cleared at ten, then they must be cleared. That's when he's going to be cleared. Yeah. No, it's not ten p.m. There you go. Curfew. Curfew's ten, but we we will check and see whatever it says. It has to be cleared. I think the big thing is, and then once he rent, if he rented a hall, he can do whatever he can do. Whatever the ordinance states, plain and simple. Okay. You can't pick and choose. You bring me back. Bring me back. Bring me back. You're saying that the social hall is not going to be big enough. Eight. It holds 700. How many people is he planning on having here? Well, the maximum amount is a $400 session. That's the that's the maximum law allowed for fire. Right. 400 people. 400 in that's the social hall. That's all you can have in there is So is that why right. the DJ's up there? Because it's going to cast I'm the overflow. Again, we're not, we're not running this. Yeah. This is not our event. If he wants to try to put eight you know, in Now, if you have trouble. rules and regulations yeah. that you want him to follow, then you need to make it clear with him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, That's do. as simple as that. I mean, this has nothing to do well, with Who brought this up? Who put this on him? I think it's just because it came up question Jenny mark. Jenny did? Yeah, she asked me what, what time. Well, what question did Jenny have then? Well, I asked what, what time was it? The question mark. Because are they going to go until 3 o'clock? In the morning? No, whatever, what it was is whatever I think the ordinance says. Whatever it says, when they said 2 a.m., I think we said that's not, that when can't be done. When it gets dark, you got to be done. Well, the borough doesn't. Like, no. The like, borough doesn't go at night. I go whenever you want the borough doesn't. But no, the street's not dark. I mean, yes, one thing, the noise dark. ordinance is dark. It's we like need that. to have yes, a meeting with them anyways because it involves the street department a lot. Yeah. yeah. The borough building, police a lot. department. Fire. They Fire, be, yeah, and things of that nature. Well, we, we need to have a meeting with him. I mean, because one of my concerns, is, and everybody knows it's my biggest pet peeve, people out of that social hall at midnight. That's, I fight with people all the time about that. I mean, council that does grant extensions, but. Well, I think the plans are is that they're going to go to Dukes, to El Dorado, mm -hmm. and the Crow Club. They have arrangements made for after hours. If anybody yeah. wants to go, that's where they plan on going. That was what I was told. But. You know, you got whatever. Whenever that person signs that hall, you say maximum 400 people. You're out of meeting. <clears throat> whenever the street department, we ran the fire. The firemen have had festivals until 11 right. o'clock at night. Yeah. I don't know what that number is, but look it up, find out, and, and tell the people what they have to do. We well, just said right. it was midnight, right? Is that what you're saying? I think midnight's no. about the borough. But that's the, the that's hall. the social yeah. hall. Yeah. But council has granted the 2 a.m. before. Oh, see, there has. On oh, oh, case to case, they right. do right. that. Yeah. But like I said. Larry Price is in charge of this. It's his event. You know, you have to run everything through him. Yeah, he just needs to come up so everybody's on the same page. And it eliminates a lot of that. There yeah. You go. And if, if Larry Price is setting up this festival the same like we do, we have to contact yeah, which, the fire department, the street department, everybody else, and make sure you're. So, you know, sometimes yeah, people assume things go the way and they right. just always don't. And just touch base. It's mass cleanup and it's going to cost the people money that people shouldn't be paying for that. Right. Well, the let's day. jump ahead and look at then, item number two about cleaning up the downtown area. Since we're on the subject, let's just, oh, let's just talk about that, okay? And so next next yeah, you know, I wanna, on we want to clean it up. Mike and I talked it over. Mm -hmm. We want to get some wood and cover up some of these dilapidated buildings, paint, clean up the downtown, get the planners ready. Yeah. What? You can't you can't go on someone else's property and do something to it. You can't board we, them we up. Only board property. Yeah, you can do the borough. But, we would need, but this we would need consent <laughs> waiver. Correct me if I'm wrong. If we would move forward with the code enforcement, these are things that we could if they're not up to code and they look if the windows are broken or something, we yeah, can start with the code. It's the, same, it's the same thing she does. They're from New York, they, they won't find them, they won't get found at the magistrate, they'll just keep the lock date. That's what's gonna happen. But we can Actually, have a start, right? No, because she already did it. Nothing happens. They won't pay. They won't um, make them pay the fine to the magistrate. There's nothing you can do. We've never pressed the issue. Yes, you have no did. paper trail. She, she pressed the you issue. You have a paper trail yes, because she does. Yes, whenever she I talk to all the people at the COG, 
that day, they said the biggest thing we can have to fight blight in our downtowns was to have good code enforcement with a paper trail. Mm -hmm. And all the other municipalities, they had at least but two years. Is this your complaint that all the towners get treated different than in-towners? They had at least two years' worth of paperwork, and they could actually go after them and make them do it, like go out of town, go wherever. But we've never had anything longer than anything. Never Nothing. had anything longer than what? Anything. Then what's anything? I, like I said, all the other municipalities that actually did make it work, that's what the oh, was talking about. about. You said we never had anything longer than what? Any so time frame. You have to have property, like a constant two-year time frame before they can start moving forward on it. We don't have anything like longer than any time frame. There, there it goes like a month and then we've never cited them for a year and then this Eddie, and that. Eddie Burns is reserved for 20 years. That's fine, but that's why I said we need to address our issues now. I'm not talking about the past, I'm talking about the future. So that if we start now, that we can really start. really has now. nothing to do with boarding up these properties and painting them. Yes, it does. No, you can't. You can't tell we them. are addressing. You can't tell them because you're out of code. We're going to no, no, board no. your place up and paint signs on But that's what I'm saying. If they weren't that. so heinous and outside of code, you wouldn't be boarding them up if they had broken glass on them. You see what I'm saying here? No. We also really can't have. spend public resources. Correct. Well, we I don't think you can do that. You can't go I mean, on someone else's property to do something. It's a great idea, though. What did you think? Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's an idea, but... <laughs> you, you can't, like, go screw something on someone else's building to say, I'm, I want it this pretty. Especially if you cause damage. And then you're also inviting children. Yeah, you can't. Mm, they have to have permission from you. Especially if the, some of this glass isn't too sturdy. Well, we'll just leave it Somebody could really get hurt. It's not that. I don't know what else. You, could we put up something in front of it, like on the sidewalk? Nobody's can't obstruct the sidewalk. Okay, that's, I'm just I'm spitballing here, but I know you can't like just screw something that they're building or paint on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Let's move like a dump from the next five years. Well, I have. What if it creates a safety hazard, like you're talking about broken glass? Do we have the right to go and secure it? In certain nuisance instances, you do. If there's still a process. We have there's a code so for it. That's a legal process. So, well, it's a legal thank you. process. Well, that's why I said you have to have the, the citations in place. You have to have a time frame in place. You have right. all that. Then you yeah. have to take that to Washington County Court and get approved right. by well, the judge. That's what I said. Cog was saying through the code enforcement, that's the best way to no. fight all this. Right. She, can't, she, can't, she can only deem it uninhabitable. She can't condemn it. It's a whole different process. It's not condemning. What I'm saying no, is, you but can, in order to board up the windows, you have to condemn it. It's a totally different process that doesn't go through. I'm not talking go about code. boarding Why up windows. Why do you have to yell at everybody? Doesn't go through code enforcement. Stop, stop, stop worrying about boarding up windows. We want to address. We want to address the, the bad buildings. It goes through the law. Through him. You're right. If you don't have anything in place, you can't just all of a sudden say it's against the law for you to do this. You have to have something in place that you did something to address it. You know what? Why don't you stop yourself? Can't you okay. not stop yourself? You are so combative, so nasty to people. It is absolutely pathetic that these people got to sit here every see. meeting and you go on and on and berate people and yell at them. Now, painting the light poles. Shut up. You're doing it too. Painting the light poles. Well, you guys can do that. That's a good right? idea. That's a good idea. We yeah, why well, was that last year? We, we could clean all the weeds and yeah. stuff, and we could patch the bad sidewalks. That's what sidewalks. Mike said. Clean up the plants. Well, I don't know. Patching the sidewalks. Can we patch a the bad bit. sidewalks? So many people coming in that we need to we make the downtown area halfway decent. Yeah, bad sidewalks. It depends where. It depends where. Yeah. On well, the well, I know we can't on Burlington properties, that's obvious, but I'm talking about if the sidewalk's bad, uh, what, what's the, what, what power do we have to the force? Ordinance requires, the ordinance requires property owners. Which comes down to code. Okay, but the light poles, yes. Light yeah. poles, 100%. Those are yeah, all right, we got one. Right. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> there was, when I, when I, Talk over something I was going to talk about with the white person also. Okay, so what if we, you know, say there's a person in Delora that owns that building. Yeah. Okay, say it's their building. And we contact them and say, hey, can we board that up? They say yes. And they say yes? We can't, they can't. They can board it. They can, they can. They can, they can consent to having their windows boarded. But if we're buying the building. Well, what if I get it donated? It's yeah. still the burden. How's that? No, no, no. Wait, I think what's, how about this? Follow me. If you guys get it down there, you can see it. Oh, how about if I told you this? Whenever I paint, whenever I painted all, whenever I painted all the buildings, whenever I painted all the buildings downtown, I had to contact the owner. They had to say yes. They had to allow me to do it, and 
they purchased the paint, or yeah. they donated that the money to the hands. That was just when you were a civilian, it was different in government. They were, what, what One second. Policies. But that's what I'm saying. We if, can't use government funds to do it. You're right. That's and that's why what they have an ethics violation under the last council. One meeting. second. So we could have, if you can contact the owner from the Nora. <laughs> Okay, hear me out one second, Mr. Zackle. You can contact the owner, and if they say, and if they say yes, we're not going to use. We cannot. Can we? You stay up at night wearing. We cannot. You better get some sleep once in a while. You know, you're going to get sick. I'd like to just say, yeah, if we wanted to really clean this up, then we can contact the owner. If they said yes, it's okay. We can't. We will not use borough employees. We cannot use taxpayers' dollars. But if we had donation or someone, if they said it's okay for you to board up and paint over it, and you do it without costing the taxpayers any money, you can do that. Well, we should be involved in that. Get a committee together and do it. Well, that's what I mean. It turned into this council have... cannot do it. Wow. Yes, that's what we said 20 minutes ago. This is a great meeting. Are we okay. moving on? Or... Yeah, we're yeah, moving we're on. Talk about this all Next one is good, too. Yeah. Handicap pay parking space policy. We've been talking this for the last couple months here. Let's finalize it today. Uh, I'd ask Mike to give me a list. We've got approximately 45. Residential parking places for handicap. Okay. I noticed something on there though. Like some of them are commercial. The policy needs to have, if it's going to be commercial, come in and just have them list. You've got uh, Posey, and you've got one down at Angels. Okay, doctors in the private. Okay. Yeah, down at. Uh, uh, angels on That's fine angel. touch yeah. by angel. Okay. Okay. I think the policy just needs to say that you know if they're going to request it to come in and have council approve that. Well, you agree with you, that? If business was, was, was businesses given that, or were they actually charged something like the resident is? We I don't know. Yeah. For sign uh -huh. I don't. Is there something we can put in there that it can't be within the business district? Because holy mackerel. If every business requested a, a handicapped parking space, there'd be no parking. You know, we could define it by ordinance and say, for for example, parking lots you know, have certain requirements. Businesses have certain requirements. Okay, because it seems like downtown, if it turned into, you can you can conceivably line line up the whole one side of the block. block. Right. Yeah. So what if, if we could put, oh, it would be that. What does the Americans with Disabilities Act say about? So many parking places have to be designated handicapped personally parking places. It, it depends on your residential area versus commercial <clears throat> areas. It depends on your ordinance. It's not okay, but you know, like at Walmart, Walmart, they have so many parking places. Yeah, but that's that's that's. We, we don't have those type of. Well, well there are a few parking. Room. That's what I mean. We, okay. Maybe we, you should look into that because I, you can't line up downtown. If, if every business asks for one handicapped space, <clears throat> but you've already given out a few businesses. Could our, could we do this? Could we, t just to help the handicapped, could we designate the first place, maybe two places up in the garage up here in the handy, right across from Harry's? Could we have handicapped there so that they could, they'd still have to walk across the street, but it would be. I they think there are a number of yeah, yeah. There are a number up there. I've, no, I've never that's noticed. That's what I mean. Maybe just make a designation not on McCain or something. I think we should go page by page on it. So are those 45? I'm going to go back and send each property owner a letter basically asking for, is that parking place still being used? Okay, a lot of these are uh, out of state folks now that rent these properties. Just want to make sure that, that way we could confront the list. Right. We're going to charge fifty dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my okay. position. What about a fee for a fifty dollar uh, fee? Renewing it each year. The fifty dollar fee is for. The sign and the work that's required and, to put the sign. And the painting. And the the we're, and we're, the we're, we're permitted to do that. Okay. What I'm saying is, it, it's it's not that you're permitted to do it. I'm handicapped. Okay. I'm on a limited income on disability. 
but I got to pay fifty dollars for you to come out in front of my house and so, put a Yes. I can't afford it. So the then one you don't get one. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, Unless that's, somebody donates it. So the one time. I don't think you're stopping from getting it. Well, council needs to decide that. It's about a I, don't, right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you're allowed. That was the big discussion we had just before. You can't why. stop from getting it. I don't know why we have to charge I thought we had, um, wasn't it your? Yeah, we, we, suggest, we, suggest, we suggest in the ordinance that we include the police system. Yes. Right. Yeah. We that's why, we, that's why that came about. Can you stop them from getting it? Is that what you're saying? <coughs> Absolutely. You can tell them that they can't have one. We, we put part. that in. Didn't we adopt that? Not yet. No, we haven't worked no, on that's right okay. now. And that's what I mean. Whenever this all came up, we were like, okay. And then it was our, yeah, our solicitor's right. firm that said that, you know, you're, you're purchasing the yeah, sign, you're purchasing the, sign you're, you're, the manpower to put it in all that. It's the same issue we encountered before when we were talking about buying paint and boards for private businesses. Yeah. And we even said, I think the other thing was once we put it in, there had to be some way that we could make sure that those people were still there every year. Control it. One dollar registration. Like a dollar registration every year. Just just to say you're still here. Everything. Still What's our cost on putting this in? It's probably at, it's ten bucks for the sign. Uh, need a pole, need to paint it for twelve. Then you have the guys paint. Well, how many do we put up a year? You have forty-five total right now. How so that's per year. How many do we do in a year? At least three. Yeah, I've got six since I've been. Three. I mean, a little over a year and a half. I mean, we can't afford to absorb the cost for signs for. Average of three to five a year, and we just raised the taxes a couple years ago. We should be able to buy these signs. It's such a small. We've been talking about this for five That's months. That's my opinion. They yeah. shouldn't pay anything. No, no, no. That was the opinion you brought up. And it was, and around, I guess. Can I say something? Because yeah. I had Jason Daly. You know, he was from. He said that that you, you do that because, being that it's going in front of a private residence, it's not put on the other taxpayers. That's why it just covers the fee yeah. for what you're doing. There's no gain out of it. Actually, you actually lose, but it just covers the cost of the material. Right. This is what it is. That was Jason Daly's The thing is, if it's free, I bet tons of people will want them. They'll think it's their own private park. Well, the thing of it is, is you need to keep track of them. You when people move. Yeah, you just can't say, I'm yeah, not one of People move and leave, and people inherit that handicapped space. Oh, yeah. That's not fair if they're not handicapped. It's a procedure. So can, we have to can have council it. actually put this to a motion to get this done this time? It's been on for how many months? Five. Five months. Make a motion to make it the fifty dollars plus one dollar fee. Yeah, we just have to pick the language we like. We don't know if everybody wants to. Well, vote on it. I mean, it's been on here for five months, and every time you just argue, so find out where everybody stands. <laughs> we haven't got that far yet. Yeah. Make a motion if they want to make a I know. There you go. Okay. I know if I was handicapped, I'd be glad to pay a $50 fee so I could park close to my house. Well, that's you. I do not think that I would have a problem with it. There you go. Bring it up, put it out there, and then... And most people stage. have paid it. I mean, there may be some people that didn't, but I, I don't know that. I, I, think that's, I think that's cheap. On a, it's very, very inexpensive. A lot of people can't afford it, though. Okay. Put it out there and make a decision on it. Mike. Next one is yours. There's a couple items of equipment that we need to. Uh, yes. We need to go for access. Auction. Is that the what it is? Zero turn tractor. Yeah, the cut quick motor that we had purchased. We do not use it. Okay. It's just unusable. Is it the old orange one? Yeah, yeah, the one that's in the park garage. What year was that? Well, we bought that a couple of years ago. Okay. It, it, it's longer than it. it it's. Oh, it's probably five, six years, and like that. maybe yeah, a little longer. longer and it's always one issue up there next with it, and we don't even bother with it. Okay. Um, we need just to make a motion to send that to Cork Auction, What's which is the salt truck. What's that? Uh, what is it? Salt truck. Yeah. What? What is? It? What kind of truck is it? Which you one? You said you need that. Salt. It says salt with the truck. Uh, it says zero that. turn tracker and salt <coughs> truck. We're gonna frame this. It's bad. We call that international. The, the tandem dump that we own. That now I was going to talk about that and other things I had to talk about. The tandem dump truck that we own. They had the bad frame. And doing the bad frame, um, the guy that does our inspections said they're not going to inspect that truck any longer because of the uh, the trucks just rotted away. The truck was a previous Allegheny County salt truck. It's nature of the beast. 
Uh, we just need to get rid of the truck. We're just okay. going to scrap it then. It's no, not I, I'd take auction. it to the auction. You might have a farmer or something that wants to buy that truck. Is that an international dump? Yeah, that white one. That white tail. Oh. So what year, probably, what year is that? That's that's like a 1994. Triaxle? No, the yeah. tandem. Oh, the the triaxle's a Ford. <coughs> so it it we just need to get rid of it. You might have a farmer that'll buy for off road use, mm -hmm. but we can't get it state inspected any longer. They said it's just rotted away. <coughs> it's just no good. And then if it don't go at auction, then we'll scrap it? Yeah, I mean, you'll get something out of it at auction. Somebody will purchase that truck that use off-road. I mean, you know, somebody buying a truck of that nature, they'll look at it. And then we'll All right, next, uh, catch basin replacement project, Pap Chuck. Some discussion about monitoring the contract. Okay, uh, Mike, I think I talked to you about that. They're going to propose it back from County Funding. I think I already put it in the notes. It's like sixteen thousand dollars for them to monitor that from beginning to end, and that's why I think that's excessive. Okay, we need to do something. Well, I just asked for the quote. What do we do then? the end of the year? Like, well, we I just contract with them that we have to bring them back on every year. Or they just like forever now. Well, we can I don't think we, we can do replace that. them we have all these people. We just we know we're just here like lifetime memberships. Well, each individual project that we do. They basically give us a quote to do it. Well, they're our engineer, though. Like, we brought them on as our engineer. Like, we didn't even open that up for other people to try. We didn't, like, nothing. We just, they just stayed on at the beginning of the year. Yeah, we should be yes. reviewing that every year. Every year. That stuff should be taken care of. Like, they're just here now, so they're just charging outrageous fees. This was just a quote. Okay. And I'm not standing up for it. I asked them for a quote. Because I know Mike's time is limited to see what it would cost. That's what they charge. I think it's excessive too, and I don't think we do it. Too so we should put it out yeah. for more bidders. Is that what you're saying? No, we have to do this in house then. Path checks out there. No inspector's going to be looking at that project whatsoever. Well, they they have their people. It was somebody to have a monitor constantly. Yeah, if you want something checking. there, I mean, if it's something we there. need to do, it's something we need to do. That's just the way it is. Can you can you explain the bar check? I've been reading it in the notes, but I don't totally understand it because the notes isn't that clear. We're talking about they won't don't want to take it to the river. You want to move it back to the north? Different project. Is that a different project? Yes. We got two LSA projects here. This one's oh, this is the catch basin. Okay. It's like three-year project. The inlets? Yeah. Oh, it's a never new project. It's all for bid, it's awarded, it's ready to go. We're ready to pull the trigger. I mean, because there's no, there's no like, state inspector or county or nothing like a private inspector or nothing. It's from the county. Yeah. Okay. We could watch that, we could bird dog it. We're just going out for $16,000. Well, that's somebody here the whole time. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're paying somebody for eight hours a day. How many days do they um, what, two weeks? Well, that's what I just asked, and he said no. Or more? No, we can't. We can't put this on a bid or for someone else we to do it? We can't get estimates yeah. or... Estimates on what? For somebody to monitor? Other people to do it. Keep them Like, if we feel that fee is excessive, is there someone else that does this same service? Another engineering firm. Yeah. Can't we look into somebody else? Yes. Gannon Fleming has handled everything from every coordination with Nathan Wojtek through now. Okay. I know Mike's busy. All I did was ask for them for a quote. We understand him. that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, fine. That's all there is. That. Somebody's a dispute. I'm saying, can you look into something else, though? Engineer, all we're looking for here is someone to review Path checks work. They're just yes, an engineer to make sure the work is done properly. Right. Well, if John, you agreed that it's excessive, then what would be your recommendation after if, if you think that bid's excessive? Would you recommend that we look for another engineering firm? No. Well, you want us to do it. You want Mike to do it. Yes. But you've already said that Mike's time's limited. Well, correct. 
Okay. Well, go ahead. Let, let me. Can I go one step further? Sure. I was coming here tonight to ask for another guy to be added on for two days a week. Um, and we talked about what was in the budget. We were in the budget last year on part-time wages. Um, I, I have a person in mind I'd like to bring on for at least two days a week, you know, to kind of help us with projects that we're getting into. So, I mean, I'd like, you know, you guys to consider that. And kind of breaks things up, you know, we get crews moving around, you know, it makes evens up crews and things of that nature. And sometimes it frees someone that's out, stop, see what's going on, you're coming past, see what's happening, they're working on this inlet now. And you think putting on somebody <clears throat> allow you time to do this? Yeah, I mean, because you're not going to stand there 24 the whole time. You're going to stop in, because there's going to be levels of the work that they're doing. So, you, uh, what are you doing today? Okay, we're going to stop up before you do it, let us see it, move on, proceed. You know, just like we do with any other, other thing, you know, people. Call us, let us know where you're at. You know, we'll stop by and make sure everything's okay. Once they know that you're sitting there watching them and you're going to start looking, chances are they're not going to do, they're not going to try to cut a corner. But all contractors try to cut corners, but you just have to watch them. I mean, that wasn't working in the original business. They have nobody looking over their work. Like the engineer firm never said that or not. Yeah. Never seen a catch basin project and you just go ahead and do it and you're good. What's that thing that's coming around? You know what I mean? It's like doing our job, you're set, setting still and nobody checks it. Like we do this kind of work and we've never had it, but there's no inspector or nothing to look over the work. Yeah, I don't know how that works with them. It only works until something fails. It's, yeah. And then they answer. Well, Mr. Solicitor, after hearing all of this, I'm just wondering if this is something we can do in-house, is there any ramifications that would fall back on the borough, if Mike would be the person that would oversee this? Legally, no. Okay. I haven't seen him. That's all I want to hear. I think you got to advertise for that part-time position, though. You can't just award it to somebody. Yeah, yeah. you have to interview. Okay, moving on. Uh, next item. Are you finished? I'm sorry. No, I have a couple things. I mean, if we're still on the streets. Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, just <laughs> we're talking about. Okay, um, a couple things that we did do. We were having an issue with lighting in the 7th Street parking lot. Really? Uh, yeah, the, the four lights over there have been giving us nothing but problems. They were the old 220 lights. One of the legs is shorted out underneath the ground somewhere. What we went ahead and did was the 7th Street mm -hmm. lot. We had removed the high pressure sodium lights and replaced them with LED bulbs because it's getting harder and harder. They're phasing all that out. So all we had to do was use one leg of power and we did transfer the lights to LED, which will cut back on the electric bill and it solved the issue over there. Okay. The next issue we, we had talked, we've all kicked it around about doing LED lighting through the lamp post in town, changing them out. Uh, what I'd like to do is the four lights out here next to the borough building is put a different type of bulb in each one of them and then we look at them <coughs> and see if it's something we're interested in doing and we can get a cost of what it's going to do uh, because if anybody knows anything about lighting led lighting is a different type of light it doesn't work like your normal light so it's going to have a different cast it's going to have a different look and they're not going to be amber anymore they're going to be white or you can do like an off light so you know, if you guys want me to proceed with that, I, we can change the four light posts out here. You know, the cost savings on, I think it's 57 poles through town, would probably be something at the end of the year. Not to cover the whole cost of the project, but you are going to cut back on your lighting bill for that at least. And you stopped all the repairs. You ended any problems that you're going to have because the bulbs are good for 30 years. Yeah, 20, 30 years. Yeah. You know, and... It's just something that maybe we should consider. Um, the cost of each bulb is around between $70 and $90. And that's the cost of a ballast kit, though, to repair one of the lights. If a ballast kit goes out, if you can get them, is about that price, if not more. Then you have the price of the bulb on top of that, which is probably another $15, $20. Um, 